Okay, so for my Psychology 25 video project, I'm going to be demonstrating and talking about the physical aspect on infant development. So I do have a little one here with me. She is my husband's cousin. Um, and the reason why I chose to do the physical aspect of um, infancy or the physical development in infancy is because I am pregnant myself and I love babies. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate and talk about the physical development in um, an infant. So I chose to address three concepts which are going to be motor development. And motor development is what baby is able to do in terms of movement. So I'm going to go ahead and address three concepts which are going to be sitting, head control, and locomotion, creeping, and crawling. And according to all this, this all starts to, de to develop more at four to six months. So as you can see, she does have really great head control and everything, but I'm gonna go ahead and be demonstrating that in the next video. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and talk about sitting and demonstrate sitting. So we know that at four to six months, infants can transition from sitting um, with slight support to brief periods without support. So you can see here that she's eating her foot, but she can actually sit by herself without the support of anybody. So let me go ahead and turn her around so you can see how she can sit without any support. So at 8 to 12 months, she will be able to have good trunk control and she will be able to sit alone steadily, which she actually already does. She actually already does have, and like I said, she is um, six months old today. Um, so she does have yet to fully mature and she does have yet to develop the milestone of sitting a lot better and maybe having a better self-control. But like I said, she does have a really good self-control of sitting. Okay, so now I'm going to be demonstrating her head control. Um, at her age, which is in between four to eight months right now, we can see that she can hold and balance her head um, steadily while sitting down. At eight to 12 months, she will have established head control completely. But as we can see, she does have really good control of her head. Her neck muscles aren't weak anymore. They are mature and they are developing. So yeah, she ha does have really great head control. No matter if I lift her up, if I turn her around, she has really, really good head control. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how, if I lay her down, if I lift her up, she has full control of her head and her neck muscles. They, her head doesn't, her head doesn't um, go back or nothing like that. Okay, so for my very last concept that I'm going to be addressing, um, again, part of motor development, it is locomotion, creeping, and crawling. So, crawling and creeping are two distinct developmental phases. So, um, she actually does try to crawl already, and like I said, she's only six months old. So, she is ahead on her milestones. Um, but according to her class book, after nine months, um, most youngsters can creep, but she actually already does. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that. And this just again goes to show that every baby develops at their own pace. Um, although scientifically it is proven that um, most youngsters can crawl after seven months. But she's almost there. She's actually six months old today. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate. She may not move, but as you can see, she does definitely attempt with her hands. And you can see her foot back here. She's trying to move it. So she definitely is trying to get from point A to point B. She has not fully mastered the concept of creeping and crawling, but she definitely is trying to do so. And again, she is only six months old. Again, you can see her head control, really great head control. And you can see she's trying to creep and crawl. 
So that concludes my video project. I want to say that it was really interesting doing this video project and I believe it was really beneficial because it helped me to better understand the concepts mentioned in our class book as well as in the lecture for this section. Um, it was really, really interesting to see how her motor development skills were really accurate and really on point with the milestones in motor development table in our class book. She did demonstrate really great head control. Um, she was able to sit for extended periods of time without support, and you could see how she is starting to want to crawl, and she has control in the trunk of her body. So it's really interesting to see how those skills are developing, and um, yeah, I really did learn a lot from this um, video project and thank you.